guys. We're in the Skate 3 University <laughs> District. What is what is going on here? Oh, my controller's all sorts of scuffed. Uh, yeah, we're going to be checking out some mod map stuff today. We'll probably play just a handful of mod maps and then probably go back to the main map. But yeah, if we pause the game, a bit of progress. Your boy has almost 100%ed the game. I uh, just have some mash boxes to find. And then uh, we have to do the achievements, which, I mean, once I get those boxes, these two will unlock for me. And then we've got Raw Dog. That's that's going to take a while to get, I think, 100 kilometers of grinding. I think uh, we'll check after this. I think I'm at like around 50 kilometers. So I mean, we're like halfway there. And then we have Tech Wizard. This one is actually broken at the moment. Um, so yeah, I've tried this a bunch and it doesn't work. I asked Mash about it. He looked into it and it's broken. So I'm going to wait for that to get fixed. Land a drop of over 40 meters riding a BMX? Hmm. We might be able to do that one today. I don't know. We'll find out. And then whiplash to a total of 10,000. Yeah, 10,000 tail whips. I feel like I should have had this one by now, but um, I guess for a while there, the, the tail whip counter was not including whoppers. It was only doing tail whips. And I almost exclusively do whoppers. I mean, I tail up almost as much as I bar spin. And there should not be <laughs> a big of a gap between the two. Um, does that, can I see in here? Like the rec record drop distance riding a BMX. Are you kidding me? I have to hit 40 meters and I got 39.71. Okay. That's weird. We almost did it. Yo, what's going on? Teenage <laughs> pregnancy. Oh my God. Done, Gabe. What's going on, boys? Yeah. I think uh, we'll take a stroll through here. Maybe on the drift track first. And then we'll get on the old BMX. Let's just see if we can make it through this. Uh... All right. Come on now. Let's try it on the old drift track, and then we'll get on the BMX. Take it nice and easy. This thing behaves extremely weird. Uh, it does not ride anything like the BMX bike. I mean, why would it? It's a drift trike. It's not a BMX bike. <laughs> it does a little gap here. Man, it's so weird to ride some of these maps. Like, obviously, I knew they would be coming in game. I'm trying to clear that little gap there. And that's going to be fun on the BMX. I haven't actually rode through the BMX here yet. <laughs> Huge transfers. Okay. Okay. Never mind. All right. Let's get on the BMX. Just get rid of this thing. It's so loud. Through here yet. I do have transition assist and spin assist on. I find when I play the game now, um, I kind of play for like the first 10 minutes or so with both assists on, and then I turn the transition spin assist off. Oh god. And then if I'm riding street, I just turn them both off. Getting to pump there. Oh, we gotta turn the controller overlay on too. My bad, boys. <laughs> we can like actually pump through this stuff, which is super cool. Oh, that's sick. Oh. I don't know if any of you guys have tried to ride one of those features in real life, but my god, is it terrifying. Oh, this stuff is just going to work so good with the transitionist fist. I feel like I'll keep that on for the most part, but I would definitely like to see it tone down a little bit. we got to try some of these huge drops. I don't know if... Probably not in the stream we're going to be going for any crazy gaps or anything like that, but... 
cool. We could try this one right here. This will probably actually work really good, especially with the pumping. Probably bump right down into this guy. And what is that gap that people normally do? They normally like drop into that quarter. Is that 40 meters? I don't know. It looks like 40 meters if I had to guess. Maybe we could get that, that achievement done. Oh God. Just a big transfer over this. Oh no. That'd be sick. Just to air that. The big one hander. Oh my god. Open loop. Oh, we gotta try the open loop. Come on. I think that's gonna probably work pretty good. I don't know if it's gonna want me to. Oh man. Into the grind. I don't know if it's gonna want me to flip or not. We probably don't need this much speed. And I don't know if I can air it right to left. Yeah, this is kind of like what I'm talking about with the transition assist, kind of like toned down a bit. I feel like it's doing a bit too much. I probably have to go like so low to do that. All right, yeah, let's see if we can get the open loop. I don't know, it's actually pretty huge now that I look at it. And there's no way we can get that speed. Oof. I guess we just try and roll down and drop in. Oh, that might work. I don't know. Try it the other way. I don't think this was ever something I did in skate either. Okay, yeah, that way's probably going to work a bit better. Yo, that is sick. Open loop. Oh my god. It's the first open loop I've done. In streets. Oh no, straight to flat. Here, let me get the controller up for you guys. There we go. Sorry about that. Yo, Con Radical, what up? If the graphics and physics was better, this game would be fire. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> the graphics in the mod maps are definitely a little a little lacking. But I feel like in the main map they're pretty good. I've actually seen some mod maps that look really good actually. Nice, that works really well. The seat grabs, I love totally going for that. Yeah, this is not my forte here. Some of the other mod maps that I've got are definitely a little bit more street park orientated, not not mega ramp stuff. All right, let's try to hit this gap. I feel like at least before we leave this area, we got to try this out. This is something I'm not that great at, but we'll give it a go. Oh my God, we need more speed than that. Oh, easy. Transfer it into the... <laughs> okay. Okay, come on. Let's ride out of that at least. Don't people normally just do like something like this? Oh, what the... Oh. I mean, not that. That was sick. Oh, man, there's some crazy huge gaps you could probably do. I'm not like super huge into. <laughs> oh my god, this is so hard to hit straight. So much speed, dude. There is absolutely no way you land that. <laughs> no, that's not happening. Oh, drop into this one? Yo.
There's a quarter there I don't think I've ever seen before. Dude, pumping through this stuff is so satisfying. Yeah. Yeah, so a lot of spots are kind of untextured, but I mean, you still get the, the overall vibe of the map. The classic skate. Some things just, I don't know if they work too well. Let's see if these rails work. I've been doing like these uh, tweaked out tuck ups for crank arm grinds now. But these rails, let me just let me try a normal grind first to see if they even even work yeah see it's like not not pulling me t to it at all I think you actually just literally yeah, okay yeah some of these mom maps are a little yeah so those just don't really work all that great I think maybe if I perfectly line it up yeah it's doing some weird stuff though if it's kind of out of my control actually you know what try it without this stuff on Okay. Oh, yeah. It's still kind of weird. I'm just crooking every row. <laughs> I think ledges work, though? Maybe? Yeah, ledges seem to work alright. God, that's kind of unfortunate there's so many cool rail spots in this oh yeah <sighs> I guess like you can pretty much just do gaps in this I mean which is sick there's definitely some really cool pool setups in this map oh this is probably really fun oh, I just turned all my transition stuff off yeah I don't know this map's pretty cool We'll definitely check out another one here in a couple minutes, because... Ooh. I've played around with some of the other ones. Oh, man. Like, I would love to come ride some of this stuff. Actually, you know what? Before we go any further, let's see. If I reselect the map, will it put me in the original spawn? Oh, that breaks the map. Okay, well, I broke the map, guys. My bad. Moving on. DH school. This is that schoolyard small map from session. I might have just broke the game, though, so I don't even know what's going to happen. Okay, cool. <laughs> Dude, this place is sick. And there's so many cool, like, roof drop spots. I don't know if... I, I have this in session, but... I don't know. In session, I'm not really trying to hit... Uh, any sort of like Dennis Anderson, Tyler Finangle roof drop to grinds. But in this game, we're hitting some roof drop to grinds. And so many. It's so sick to see these spots in this game. We've got El Toro, Leap of Faith, Hollywood High. El Toro's right over here. I actually recorded a multiplayer session with Devin Smiley and we were sessioning El Toro and I got some pretty cool stuff transferring from the roof down into El Toro. Just trying to get my Dylan Stark on, you know, just getting roof drops into El Toro. Dude, so cool. Every time I come in this map though, I'm, I'm only ever, but this is the first spot I come to rink on and get the fakie hop, like Colin. Trying to be like Colin, dude. The fake you out for Colin. A lot better of a run up than he had. Yeah. <laughs> so cool. Uh, man, I can't wait. For either more camera settings to come out or someone makes a camera mod for this game. I feel like the camera could definitely, definitely 
see a little improvement. Count it. All right, let's start back up here. Or where's the start of the map again? I'm so lost. Maybe we can get to it that way. Big caveman. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of questions about how to do specific things. Oh my god. Yeah, I got a clip in the multiplayer session. See if I can get a hangover around this. Since I got a little bit of practice on it now, it's really tricky to get a hangover on this ledge. Alright, I gotta do it the other way. So tough. <laughs> this is probably the hardest thing I've ever done in this game, is trying to hang over around the sledge. And I always forget which way to spin. God damn. The one I got in my multiplayer video is sick. It's so hard to... You have to like balance it, right? Like, cause if I just do a tooth, it just does that. So I have to tooth and spin, right? Tooth and, sp Jesus. Tooth and spin, but then I, if I just do that, then you kind of like lean into the ledge. So then you have to like tooth, spin and balance the leaning with the left trigger. Oh my God, it's, it's a bit of a headache. But it's so sick when you get a good one. Okay, we're just yeah, we're moving on. That's I'm I'm fine with that. Got so many cool spots in here. Oh yeah, but uh, he made it so you can land and tuck up. It's kind of weird that it just stays there until you let go. And if you let go, he does like this little endo looking thing. But if we find a rail. Actually, let's see if we can do it on the sledge. If you do a tweaked out tuck up, you can actually crank arm and it looks, in my opinion, better than the crank arm, the actual crank arm grind in game. Let's just see if I can crank arm this first. All right, a couple times here. Crank arms on ledges don't really work. All right, I'm gonna try the tweaked out tuck up on this. I don't know if this is gonna work here, but let's just try it out. Yeah, see, it, it even works better in some cases. There's no like grinding audio because you're not actually doing a grind, but it looks way easier than the crank arm input and it seems to work on like way more stuff. You can like start spinning in it a little bit. I was going for the ice pick. Damn, that's sick though. Yo. <laughs> that's sick. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that just looks that looks so much steezier. Than the the normal, oh shoot, the normal crank input. Mm -mm. Oh my god, the stick is so sensitive. <laughs> Look how steezy that looks. The bike is looking pretty clean right now, too. Yeah. So, yeah, there's, there's something fun to try if you got the game. Go ahead and try like the tweaked out. You can tweak it the other way, but I haven't really found a really useful way to implement it into like grinding combinations. 
if you just do the normal tweak or sorry normal tuck up without tweaking it sometimes you can get into some cool stuff if we do like tie ride and then tweak yeah i don't know you just get like the weirdest weirdest looking switch feeble Does look tough, yeah, dude. It looks sick. Like uh, El Toro's right around here, right? Where's El Toro? There it is. Yeah, crying like. And the nice thing about that too is there's no overgrind input at the moment. I know that they're working on having like a consistent way to do overgrinds because right now you kind of have to like cheese the game. So like if we do a tie ride input and then do that tweaked tuck out, you can kind of like do fake over crank arms, which is pretty fun. You could probably even hit like a bar. It's really hard because you need to do a lot if you want to trick into it. See, there's the tuck up that just does a crook. There's like bar over crank. Dude, it looks so steez. <laughs> Dude, it is like kind of rough to get a clean landing out of it, but. Visually, it looks much more pleasing than. Here, I'll do it like a. Let me try and do a normal crank on this rail. See, I'm, I'm, I don't even know if the crank arms work as good as doing this tuck up thing. Yeah. That or this, boys? Yeah, that looks so steez. Got paid today, just bought the bought it on Steam Deck. Nice. You struggle with stalls the most, like on a quarter pipe? Oh, that's a sick wall ride to rail, actually. Let's try that out. Sick. I don't know if it's possible, but after I get this, it'd be sick to try to foot jam the wall to. Yeah, that's sick. Okay. <laughs> Is it possible to foot jam the wall? Okay. It's not a very steep foot jam, but I understand we're coming straight at a wall. But yeah, we can foot jam the wall. We just try a normal foot jam on the wall. Oh, that's hard. It's actually really tough. Just making sure I can do it here. God, it's the body positioning. Like I need to be so much further back on the bike. You can foot jam. Huh. We just try that once or twice. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Is this the session map? Yeah. Yeah, we started off in the university district to skate. We'll probably go back there at some point, except I broke it, so we'll have to see about that. Try the try to ride this. Made El Toro look small, yeah. This, it does look pretty small. It looks small? Until you look at it in the replay. Right? Like, it is a huge ass set. We need some fake steez down, El Toro. The huge switch bar to fake steez. <laughs> What are their maps? Yeah, uh, I've only got a couple. I've got uh, this one, the sewer map he made, the Skate 3 University. We'll go back to the Skate 3 one because it is pretty sick. It's just, uh, I somehow broke it. Um, we got the OG pipe map. Let me see, what else we got? And 
this ma- this uh, skate park in Russia, which is pretty fun actually. There's more. There's more mod maps. These are just the ones I got for today. Nolly double truck, dude. We gotta get the hop seven down. El Toro. Oh my god. Yeah, I really hope the spin speed gets increased. Like, I like using the slow motion, but I don't want to have to use the slow motion to do something like that. I got no problems with using the slow motion. It's just, I feel like it's like necessary to use slow motion to do certain tricks. Right? Like, I can't just hop seven down that. I can come close. But you spin just a hair faster in the slow motion. I wish we had that kind of spin speed. Yeah, because without the slow motion, this, some stuff's just not even possible. Like 360 to grind. Like it's, it's just right, it's right there. If anything, the spin speed, oh God. The spin speed we have in uh, the slow-mo right now should be like the normal spin speed. Oh God. Let's go for the 180 double bar crook on El Toro. Jesus. <laughs> okay, dude. If, if that's IRL, I'm taking that all day. <laughs> There's no way I'm doing that again. Okay, 180. Okay. We're getting really lucky here on some of this stuff. Okay, fakey pegs is dialed. Set up the crook. Oh my god, that was really bad. Yeah, even like getting out of some of this stuff is just. Oh, we could we could have got we could have got over pegs there. It's unfortunate. Yeah, because having that slow spin speed it help makes it really helpful for like cabbing out of like really steep rails like this. God damn, dude. Okay, we did 180 bar over crook. Sort of, pedal crook. All right, last try. This is the one. Hey, cleaned it up. Let's go. Yeah, like if you wanted to cab out of that, it's almost impossible. It's not impossible. It's doable sometimes, depending on your speed, but if you're having a hard time cabbing out of something like this, you hit the slow motion, you just get that little bit of extra speed, and you'll be able to do it. Even like with like grind 180 out, you can't really three out of that. I mean, respectably though, like that'd be hard as hell to three out of that. With the slow motion, you just get that little extra spin speed, dude. I just wish I... I don't mind that... That's how it works at the moment. It's just... I don't want to have to use the slow motion. Because I really just like doing, like, slow motions in, like, the middle of tricks, really. Ring. Have you tried tweet tuck up lip slides? Yeah, we were actually just going over that. Oh, lip slides. You mean like tire slides? Because I've been doing them for crank arms. Yeah, let's uh I don't think there's any quarter pipes <laughs> in this map, but we could we could do a tire slide on something. Could we tire slide? I was kind of doing it on ledges and stuff. I don't know if I can do it that good. Toggle some slow motion here. Oh, that's a Nofa can. Oh, wrong way. Oh my god. I was doing that like on, on ledges. Like doing those dire slides. But I did not know I could do this. Damn, we hit like peg bonks like that. That's gonna be sick. Dude, hitting like little peg bonks off the we need to find a curb. <laughs> That's actually sick. 
doesn't take much to please me in this game, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for help with with coping grinds, once we get to a map with a quarter pipe, I can try to try to go over that a little bit. Oh, this is gonna be tough because I have all okay, all the spin assist off, right? Yeah, if you got the oh, we have transition assist off too. Okay, turn them both off. Ooh, curve wall ride, downside Smith at the top. Oh, we were close. Oh, we just barely missed it. Come on, dude. <laughs> don't, tell, don't tell me that was not it. Yeah, we did it there. There's just no audio cue. Damn, that is sick. Downside Smith. God, it's so twitchy with the field of view this this close. Oh, downside Smith. Yo, that is so sick. Uh, you can do fakey 540. Sort of. <laughs> yeah, you need help doing coping grind stuff. I think I can actually do it here too. No, not really. Yeah, coping grind is, it's pretty rough. I can't lie. It's definitely like the grinding in general is pretty tough. Hitting coping grinds is extremely difficult. As soon as we find a quarter pipe. Let's just hit a couple more spots. We can always come back to this map too. I do like this map quite a bit just because of all the six street spots. Hit a couple lines right here maybe. Start off with the overcrank. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the side hops too. That lean, dude. Oh no. I think he might change something about the spinning too. Hopefully. Oh. Yeah. Oh my god. Hitting like 90 rails, like in pipe, it felt almost impossible. In this game, it's definitely not as hard. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it's still really tricky. Oh my god, okay. I don't think we need to quick spin out of that. Oh, you know what it is? The reason that looks kind of goofy is because of this. Oh. I feel like I, some stuff just... Yeah. Oh, it still looks kind of goofy. <laughs> I guess that's just a weird spot. Let's go to one more spot and then yeah we're gonna move on we'll go hit up a, a skate park leap of faith dude over crank down this whole rail <laughs> that, that is not there's no way that's possible i don't think it's gonna really work all that good with the with the curve curvature of this rail nolly t bog down that drop would be crazy 180 triple bar <laughs> Oh, 
Five bar. Uh, 180 whip. Yeah. Kenneth Tensio backflip. Gerber front flip. Stevie Churchill three whip. Okay, that's just unfortunate. Stevie Churchill three whip. Brandon Beacon half cab. No! Oh! All right, let's see if we can overcrank this rail. There's no way it works. It might be possible, but this could be a battle. A battle that I'm not sure I'm ready for. Can it? Yeah, there's no way. Can we even grind through this, I wonder? Oh, I guess if we down pump on that section, we might actually stick to the rail. Oh, God. Come on, dude. Come on, Bruno. It's it's kind of weird because there's some features like this in the game that are really hard to just do a normal double peg, but then doing something like a 180 crook on it or something like that, or even just a 180 pegs, is sometimes it's just easier for me. Maybe just in the game in general, honestly. Um, how can I get back to the city after playing a custom map? Yeah, so you just open left on the D-pad, go to your map, and then just do that. Then you'll be back. Back in Mashland. Yeah, that's all you gotta do. Um, but yeah, let's go to... Oh, we could do pipe map. Nah, let's wait. Sewer? I think we could do coping grinds in here. Maybe we do... Yeah, let's do this one first, actually. This map's pretty sick. Can we get Austin Augie added, please? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I would love for there to be hundreds of pro riders and BMX icons in this game, but I don't have the power to, to do that. That would be sick, though. There's a bunch of riders I would love to play as in this game, like Garrett, Felix, Chad Curley. Kevin Peraza would be dope. Um, yeah. Yeah, something with this too, the spin assist. I don't know if you just saw, I tried to do a five cab there and I, I couldn't really do it, but then with the spin assist on, for some reason it just works a thousand times better. Some weird things that are going on in this game that'll get figured out eventually, but. Oh, that's a wall. All right, coping grinds. You're going to want to find a quarter pipe. Preferably one that's like this height. There's a couple in game. Um, and one that has a straight deck, not some sort of curved quarter pipe. That's going to be really inconsistent. Um, so yeah, there's a couple functions you can do on the, on the ground before you hop. That'll change the way you, you play, right? Like if you want to backflip, you have to hold left trigger. If you want to do something like a tie ride, you hold both triggers and then hop. Um, individually, right trigger and left trigger also make you side hop. Um, and then if you want to like fly out of a quarter pipe, you hold the right trigger as you are hopping or like as you're doing an air, I guess. Right, like if I come here and just hop, I'm just gonna air it. But if we hold right trigger, oh God, might be kind of weird on these mod maps. But if we hold right trigger, it's gonna pull us out, which is gonna put us into the wall in this, on this setup. Um, I don't know, actually, maybe the wall will interfere with this. I don't think it will too much. Uh, but if we hold right bumper, and actually, if we come into the guide and go BMX or general, or where is it, BMX? Oh, general on the BMX. Okay. Um, right bumper at the very bottom, it disables transition sensors. So anytime you hold right bumper and hop, if you're near any transition and you have the transition assist on, the, holding the right bumper isn't going to pull you into the transition. 
um, it, it, it essentially does this, right? Like you can have this on and anytime you don't want the transition to pull you in, you just hold right bumper as you hop. Um, so yeah, if we hold right bumper as we hop, it's going to ignore the transition and it's going to pull us right to the coping because it's searching for something to pull us to. And since it's not finding transition because we've disabled it holding the right bumper, it sees the coping and is going to pull us towards that. Do I know when my Russia video will be coming out? Uh, It'll come out next week. I have all the footage on my phone. I just have to get it to my computer. But with this game, I've just been degening it up, playing streets. So yeah, just hold the right bumper as you air and it'll pull you to the pegs. And then like, if you wanted to hop and do combos while you're in the grind, you just have to hold the right bumper as you hop, right? Then you can go to uh, different grinds, but it is, it is pretty rough, honestly. spin assist on that's gonna be nice oh god it's a little buggy but just like literally everything in this game you're gonna be spending a little bit of time to get some stuff oh man is the spin assist really gonna not oh, i actually have to do the 90 now okay i mean i guess that makes sense maybe it doesn't struggle trying to do that that's sick though but yeah you just hold the right bumper as you come on or as you're airing okay let's actually start from a normal position see if we can just ride around this park a little bit super hard to get a crook or sorry a smith on rails Always dropping into the, uh, <laughs> always dropping into the crook. Oof. Turn that sucker off, dude. Come on. Oh, see, like that. It's going to make me use slow motion, dude. <laughs> the normal crank arms just... Oh, I forgot I have to spin now. The normal crank arms... I feel like, I, I feel like I'm just never going to do them again. Because why would I when I could just do this? Like, it just looks... I mean, it's less... In, it's more inconsistent, but... It looks dope. Saved it. Saved it. Can Adam 22 be added into the game? I have no idea. I mean, sure, someone will mod him in. Oh my god, I have cap crank. Yeah, no bike flips. I'm sure we'll see tricks added in the future. I know he's he's working on the X up right now. Bike flips, I don't know. I mean, it seems on one hand, it's like the game's called BMX Streets. I'd rather just see like more tricks that street riders do. 
But then we've got Ryan Williams as one of the playable characters, so it would seem kind of odd to have him in the game and not be able to do a Ryan Williams-esque trick like a bike flip. I mean, don't get me wrong, you can do all this stuff that he does, but... I think, I think bike flip. I mean, why not? I'll be down with the bike flip. wall <laughs> oh, I was gonna see if I could oh maybe if I hold the right bumper I don't know I have it do I have tra no I have transition assist on maybe if I fly out of that holding RB yeah I'm still figuring this stuff out guys Ah, uh, yes, if we hold RB while we fly to that, then we'll go to that ledge. <laughs> oh my god, okay. This is uh, maybe a little bit more difficult than I thought. Count it. Never mind. <laughs> okay. What am I even doing? I think it'd be sick though to like that, but with a 180, like 180 ice and then like bar back in. Okay, thread the needle. Oh my God, I feel like sometimes the triggers are reversed after you've done a 180. All right, let's go to another mod map. <laughs> do we do? We'll do the sewer because we haven't done that one. Actually, let's do pipe map because this one's a this one's a classic. Um, I know it's not the night speed stream, but I was watching his BMX video of it and generally so clean with it. Yeah, night speed is sick. It's fun to watch him play. It's fun to watch skateboarders play this game in general because they just, they kind of just play like they're uh, skateboarding. Oh my God, this map is a little goofy. Yeah, some of these, vert, the vert walls don't really seem to work all that great. First step up right there. Like, they work, you just, you you can't like air below coping really. Yeah, see that's what's gonna happen. That's like the main problem with this map is like this the the quarter pipes are like too vert. this box backwards really clean we gotta hit the step up dude only riding here for a minute but we gotta be ripping the step up actually with these being so vert I wonder if coat just mm, yeah I don't know I think just them being over it kind of just messes with the map honestly more than anything i hope mash does like a a couple re remastered pipe maps yo yeah look at how goofy it he lands so far down yeah because i would love like a i'd love to ride this map but the, the quarter pipes are just they're vert. They're too vert for this game. These quarter pipes have like... <laughs> I feel like the quarter pipes have like seven feet of vertical to them. Look at them. <laughs> They're straight up. 
don't know if you guys have ever rode. Yeah, like it's way too much vert on these quarters. Even on like the normal ones over here. Riding a quarter pipe like that is so hard. I'm terrible at riding transition, but man, carrying something like that with that much for it would be terrifying. Conehead and chicken bike land. I hope Mash rewards the classic pipe map or yeah reworks. Put some into the main map. I I think if he was going to do that, he would have done it for the initial map. I think more or less what we're gonna see is kind of like what Easy Day does is when like they add maps to the game, they're like um, official like dev maps and they put them in mod.io, right? I think that's how it works. I don't know. It's been a long time since I played Skater XL, but I think we'll probably see that in this. At least I hope. Like a remastered community center would be sick. to ride this box jump rope. It's probably one of my favorite parts of the pipe map. Oh my god, come on. Anyways, that's about all the pipe map does for me right there. Let's go to the sewer map. Um, What up, Michael? Um, yeah. Not even vert? <laughs> what? What are you talking about? It's vertical. It's straight up and down. Insane map. <laughs> this game should be free. I, I agree. All games should be free, too. Get more vert. <laughs> Just make it a full pipe like this. Wait, what is this? What is this? Oh, this is the same second. I was like, did I just un find a hidden park in here? I literally just. <laughs> okay. Damn, this park is sick. Okay, there's a pole there. Dude, what are these? What is this? Am I about to find another hidden <laughs> spot or is it just gonna loop me back around? Ah. Unfortunate. I can't turn my flashlight on in here. It's... Oh! Bonk on the ceiling? slide yeah <laughs> tire slide that is sick I love that he made it so you can land and tuck up I mean that was really sketchy but you could definitely get some really smooth stuff with that for sure clean I don't know what's going on here Eggman play with Milky I would if you wanted to I feel bad for you that this is your chat. I haven't been reading it too much. What's going on in here? Oh my god. What the heck's going on here? We have not been... What the heck? <laughs> Wait a second. I mean, the last couple streams I've done have definitely been filled with like... A lot of people arguing about this game, but I've not seen something like this. TJ 
is trolling. I feel like everybody in here is trolling. What the hell? What's happened? I think it's bad time to go live. I mean, anybody, yeah. Yeah, we're getting toxic in here today, boys. Unfortunate. Come on, you're gonna tell me I can't tap my wheel on the ledge there? The ledge, the roof? Actually works really good. What the hell? Uh, I just saw something, and that's why wearing a helmet is so important. You never know when you're gonna face plant the scene. <laughs> yeah. What? Okay, so I can do that, <laughs> but I can't do a more realistic transfer while I tap the ceiling. That kind of works too good, actually. But yeah, if you guys are looking for these mods, they're all on mod.io. Let's go up there. Search up BMX streets. Some of the maps are like a little iffy, but... Oh my god. Oh wait, where's the... There's a candy bar. There it is. Flare. <laughs> Damn, I can't like read everything in here. We need, we need a mod. One sec. I thought Clut I thought Clutzy was a mod. That is moderator. I know. I know this man. I trust him. Uh. Sure. There we go. Just do that. There. Klutzy, you can do whatever you want. I trust you. If you even feel like doing that, if you don't, it's all good. It's funny. I <laughs> I have, like, a bunch of mods for the channel that I've just made over the years, but... <laughs> yeah, pan everyone. Get them out of here. I want to stream to nobody. This is only a stream for <laughs> post live viewers. Oh man, we. Huh? Huh? I really want to do a full loop over here. Okay, we gotta get out of this map in a minute. It's a little too dark and gloomy for me. Oh, there's a pipe at the. <laughs> Come on. There's a pipe at the dot. See if there's any hidden like is it's not really <laughs> Okay, I see like a couple of rail setups. I feel like this is mainly just transition though, obviously. We could try to hit that rail. How am I gonna get to that rail? Can I grind this and then hop over? Jeez, I'm not gonna have any speed for that. I'm in the floor. Is this something I can grind and ride on? Over pegs? Okay. Not what I was. <laughs> okay, it's a little fat to crook. Defaults to over pegs. Maybe he just wants me to grind this side. Interesting. So I basically need to come at it from the other side. Whoa. I feel like this is like really, like is, I guess this is probably a Skater XL map, right? I don't know, some of this stuff seems like really tight. All right, it wants me on that side now? What? I just want to get up to this rail. Oh my God. 
of a mission, but we'll make it there. What about this rail? Okay, we got the seat grab. Oh my god. This might be the toughest line I've ever tried. I'm over it. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Everything's so tight and close together. gonna do the slowest toothpick on this shit <laughs> apparently I'm not <laughs> dude this is the weirdest setup I've ever rode that is bad I guess I don't know sure I need some more street setups here. I mean, that's kind of cool. <laughs> okay, come on. Let's, uh, is there one? No, we're going to go back to this. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't, well then. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. Oh, okay, we're back. Yeah, we could do the spillway. We haven't done spillway yet. We went straight to the mega park, but I think I might actually prefer to ride this. Experimental broken right now or something? I mean, I don't know. That's what I'm on. I use the experimental build. Okay, we need both these on because Jesus. Do small house. You can do small hops by flicking the stick up and left or right instead of triggers. What do you mean? Sm sm using, are you saying side hops? Is that what you mean? Instead of small hops. Yeah, that's, that's the only way I've figured out how to do uh over like pegs over pegs and stuff like that is with like these little hops oh i forgot that none of this stuff is gonna work is it oh this one works pretty well what the hell <laughs> am i trying to gift you streets you know i don't think i'm gonna do any BMX Streets giveaways until probably... I feel like it's kind of late. I mean, it's not too late. For sure when it comes to console. I'll definitely do copies of the game. I don't know about PC, though. I, just don't, I don't know how I'm going to do it. gap I have a little too much speed here yeah just a little bit <laughs> Dude, this map runs so my, my frame rate is just tanking on this map skate three spot yeah this is a, a mod map we're playing on right now the skate three university district K3 Industrial Plaza? Absolutely. <laughs> like how MASH made so many skate inspired spots just for people to actually put the skate map in the game. Surely this is slower. Okay. I'll take that. I'll take that all day. Forgetting that this stuff doesn't work. <laughs> oh man, 
I wish some of these spots would work. Like that curve rail would be kind of funny. It'd be kind of funny to try and glitch that uh, this thing around it. Oh, so close to being something actually decent. And then a second later, that happens. I don't know if I can ride this map just because of how much I actually love to grind. And it's sick that we got it though. I'd definitely love to see like a more polished and textured version where I can grind shit. Because I mean that's 99% of what I do in this game is I'm grinding. I mean at least the ledges and stuff work. Is this, is this the backyard pool? Yeah, there's some pretty cool pool spots in here. And the roofs are so low in this game. It's like pretty easy to... Come on. Come on, Bruno. Okay. <laughs> I guess we'll go with the water slide. But I can't climb up this? I was climbing up these before. Yeah. How did I do that before? Shoot. Run over here. Jump. Okay. We'll just air up like a man. Got the sea grabs. Just trying to go for my quad bars. <laughs> Skate three bowl? Yes, sir, Benny. Skate three university district. We got we gotta go jump the shark after this. Like does that trick ever look good? No. Craft can go to be honest. I mean, like, have you guys ever seen Devin Smiley do like I think he calls it, I think it's called like a ground chuck or something like that? Like, that kind of seat grab would be dope, but like the seat grab that's in game is just kind of weird. Like, there's a way, there's <laughs> there's other ways besides the toboggan to grab your seat. Like, the ground, ground chuck, I think. It's called someone in your role now. But like that would be sick to have. This stuff works super nice. Oh god. A little off on that transfer. Oh, I went for the 360 bar again. <laughs> oh. oh 
Oh god. Oh my god. My suicide's still a thing? Yeah. They look kinda... I feel like the hand extension could be a little bit... Oh, there's a ladder there? I feel like the hands could look slightly better on it, but... Alright, let's go up to... Ooh, up there. I wanna go up there. Um... Dude, it's so hard to get on this trike sometimes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Nothing to see here. Just a normal looking man driving a drift trike. Nothing out of the ordinary. Going straight to that shark. God, dude. Am I going to play online tonight? Maybe. I might. I might for a little bit. Oh, actually, I could go online now. I was just going to go through these mod, a couple of these mod maps first. You have to earn the trike? Yeah, you just have to get a hundred stars. <laughs> All this plan, yeah. That's how the that's actually how the trike is supposed to work. It's actually not right when you're sitting on it properly. Okay, I'm really bad at doing like three flips and stuff and carving off the lip. Maybe I just need to go like even more to the side. Oh, that did work. I'm always carving off the lip whenever I do those. So I hold my left stick in like the bottom pocket as opposed to like flipping and then spinning. I kind of like already have the flip and spin going at the same time. Oh, to the double peg. Does multiplayer work with modern maps also? Yeah, I mean, yeah, as long as they have the map. Um, I was running into a problem playing with Devin. Like, we had to, like, get a multiplayer session together first, like, both in the main map and then go to a mod map. I can't, I th I'm not sure if we got it to work where, um, like, we were, like, one of us was in a mod map, made a session. I can't remember. I might have changed by now, but... <laughs> oh, that looks so weird. I'm 28, unfortunately. Uh, I'm old, dude. You're not old, dude. Don't be saying that, dude. I turned 27 this year. Uh, we're not old yet, dude. Once you hit 30, though, uh, you're getting there. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was going for. Double, double backy the... Oh. What, did, what happened there? Please don't call 28 old. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was just thinking. 28 old. Yeah. I don't know if I can pull the devil flip while spinning. I feel like I need to hold back. Yeah, I don't think I can. Yeah, it's hard to get a devil flip and rotate.
Another game you get bland off release, but have to download third party mods. Yeah, I mean, I definitely wouldn't agree with that. Like, honestly, the only reason I'm playing mod maps today is because, I mean, there's some pretty interesting ones like this. But to be honest, there's, I've yet to play, I mean, the game is brand new, but I've yet to play a mod map that has made me, um, like, rather go there than the main map. Like, I, I still prefer to play the main map. I haven't really found a mod map yet that's, like, got spots or anything that uh, is better than the main map. I'm sure that'll change eventually. Like, that one we were playing earlier with all the school spots, like, it's cool. And, like, this map's cool, too, but visually, they are, like, nowhere near as nice looking. A lot of them are kind of... I think they work pretty good for the most part, but, like, the grinds in this one don't really work all that well. Unless you're just doing a ledge. Like, really, the only mods, like... I'm excited to see some, like, some mod maps, of course, but... I'm really excited for, hopefully, some way to customize the characters. That's really the only mod I'm looking for. I could care less about any other mod. I feel like we're still going to see some gameplay settings added that maybe... Uh, that maybe kind of... Uh, I don't know. I don't want to say... I don't know. It would be cool to have like a no grind magnets mod. But I mean, if there's that, I feel like you need a stats mod. I feel like you jump really far in this. I don't know. I feel like it might be hard to time some stuff. But yeah, most importantly, I'm like some sort of way to customize these characters. Whether it's just replacing textures or something like that. But having something like that, uh, that gear mod that Scanner XL has would be dope. Like, I'm trying to put shorts on some of these guys. Like, it's crazy that we have no sh players with shorts. I mean, there's one, but it's it's a girl player, which is fine. But I want to be a dude and wear shorts. Play his finger. Is there a plug talk custom map? What is a plug talk custom map? Uh, I'm sure we are gonna get tons of mods since it shares the same engine as Skater XL. So yeah, we're already starting to see that. This is really hard with the <laughs> with this game. Wait, this might actually look kind of cool in... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this character, dude. I feel like it looked good in that, but... I feel like we're just going to go back to the, the normal map here shortly. I just... I like I, I prefer the map. We could see what other mod maps there is, but... Oh no, is my hand gonna hit the trees and shit? Gotta go a bit slower. That is a problem. Wait, is my wrist gonna like bump into shit over here? Oh no, it goes through stuff, okay. 360 down whip over Carlsbad? <laughs> Such a weird character. Yep. 
This is so weird. Okay, I did not mean to go that. Um, hey, keep up the good work with making this game better with your ideas and videos. I mean, it's not it's not me that makes the game better. It's honestly the the players in general, not not me. You go to the the BMX Streets Discord. They've got like a, f a feedback tab, and he's been going through all of that. So I mean, you can go through there and kind of react to get more attention to certain things. But yeah. I mean, I definitely give feedback and ideas. I have been for a while now. But that doesn't always get added in, right? But if I give an idea and then there's a bunch of other people in the Discord that also have that idea, then he's more likely to add that kind of stuff. And the sea grab is going to drive me insane. This is the first time I've actually played with this character. Some trucks look pretty cool on it though, I can't lie. It's kind of hard to see though. <laughs> oh my god, that is creepy as all hell. I feel like when you get off the bike, it should the hand should just go straight up and down or something. Uh, that is weird. Did you get upstairs like that? You just hold, you just nose manual up them. Right, like if if I just come up the stairs and nose manual, you just go up. It's the fastest way to get upstairs, but you also have to have the no wheel clips off right because if this is on allegedly grinds are a bit more consistent so if you're really struggling with grinds maybe turn that on but if we have that on then our wheels can't clip through anything and then we can't do that right you'll just you can't even ride upstairs even riding down them i think is, is very strange Character has got to go. This is so weird. Like my, my favorite characters are basically just Sean, Deb, and Bruno. I do like Corey Walsh. I had some Angie. What? I swear Angie looks different every time I look at her in this game. work here it works good yeah we only got one character for shorts I'm trying to get some baggy pant short Devin Stees Please get this gay hand off my screen. Dude, the chat is a wild west today. I don't know what's going on. Where's everyone coming from? Tips on staying in crank arm grinds? Uh, I don't really have one. You just got to do it over and over and over again. The crank arm grinds are really strange. I don't know if you've noticed, but like I'm not even doing the crank arm input to do like a crank arm. Every time I do crank arms now, for the most part, unless it's on like a weird curved rail, I just do a tweak to tuck up. I think it looks better. Crank arms. Having the audio there is nice, but like the body position just doesn't look right to me. 
Like the body position doesn't necessarily look right on this one too, but it just looks better to me. Anyone else smoking meth right now? Yo. What is going on here? <laughs> that is the all, dude. Yeah, there's some crazy <laughs> chats in here. Uh, that's the internet for you, though. Yeah, and I wish the grind sounds were a little bit different, too. Cause I got like all the all the all the pegs are plastic, just about. But, like these aren't, these aren't, and these aren't. But literally, all the other pegs are plastic pegs, and they sound like screeching metal when you're grinding. Right, these are all plastic. sound mod incoming that'd be cool let's see like that's the thing is like I, I i keep seeing all these people say like oh don't worry like we'll get a mod i don't want a mod dude i just want it to be actually like that in the game <laughs> yeah what's going on frost the, the, the live chat is making the the streets discord general look Look pretty tame at the moment. <laughs> it's people are uh, people got some creative things to type in there. <laughs> yeah, this is the schoolyard from session, and I'm just absolutely struggling. Blame it on Angie, dude. 180 bar overcook would be wild. Oh my god, dude. Let's go for the overcrank arm. Fuck it. Uh. How do you do clean manuals? Uh, you just pull the right stick halfway back. And like, depending on whether you're riding up and down something, you kind of have to like balance it a bit. I use the no clip. The no clip wheel setting for my game is off. So manuals work a little bit differently for me. I value uh, riding up and down stairs in a nose manual because it's 10 times faster than getting off your bike and walking up them. Jesus. I don't think the whips are fast enough for me to do that. I'm not even doing dead whips with the L. Smith a flat rail. Smith flat rail. Is there even a flat rail in this map? They're all angled. It's hard to smith rails in this game, honestly. What? Was she? Okay. Oh, here's a flat rail. I feel like I'll drop into a crook. Nine times out of ten on a rail. Yeah. To be fair, the mod modded modded rails are a bit different. Oh, I thought it was going over. I like that time. Yeah, like, where's our good r flat rail? Like an actual rail, not a square rail. I think there's, yeah, rails over here, right? Yeah, try to, we could try one of these rails. Even these ones, though, I mean, geez. Could I smith up this without... Yeah, 
can smith these rails. I'm not the ones in the mod map. I mean, it happens to me in this game. Sorry, on the main map as well. Dropping into crooks, but... I feel like on mod map rails... I've been, Jesus Christ. I've been really falling into over crooks. And, yeah, like that. I mean, that's the same rail, though, so I don't know. Feeble, feebles are the same, too. Even on ledges, sometimes you'll go into a feeble. And if you don't, like, try to steer it immediately... Your front peg will just like, you'll just drop. But if you saw us, I was steering it a bit at the beginning there. But sometimes I'll see if I can get it to happen here. Yeah, it just falls down. You kind of have to steer it a little bit or go over. Oh my god, steering a feeble around that little bend is... Let's see if we can do that. That seems pretty difficult, actually. <laughs> I don't think I can do that. Let me get the handy-dandy slow motion out for my first... Oh, we could crook that shit. Okay. Easy. Love my one-footers. Definitely not trying to tail it. I wish. Yeah. Yo, Mr. Old Potato, what version of the game do you run? Mine is stuck in Sean Rickenny flying in the air with no menu. So stoked on the game, though. Feel like I'm one of a few. <laughs> yeah, I can't say I've ever been stuck as Sean Rickenny flying in the air. I'm on the experimental build. I honestly don't know the differences. I just know at one point, Mash, like when he put the experimental build out, he said that there were some features in it. And once I changed it, I just had to change it back. I think a lot of the stuff that was originally only an experimental is now in the public build. But. How are you, potato? Long time no speak. Yo, what's going on, Sean? Doing good. Cool to see this game finally come out. Had a bit of a rough, uh, a rough launch, but it's getting better and better every single day, which is good. Hasn't even been out a week, and it'll be interesting to see if if Mash Games keeps up the pace with how they've been updating the game. If they do, I, I think it'll be cr the game's gonna get like crazy good. But I don't know it's hard to say. I mean, there's no way he updates it like how he has been for forever. But I just hope he gets a lot of um, what the players want. That way, when the game comes to console, it'll be a really solid game. Is with the little bump jump? Oh, you got to downgrade to beta if you're on the on the experimental. I'm. What's the difference between beta and experimental? If any of you guys know. Garrett and Potato collab? What Garrett are we talking about here? For some reason, I thought you meant Garrett Reynolds. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's <laughs> pretty sure that's the last thing Garrett Reynolds is looking to do. <laughs> but maybe you mean uh, Garrett Jenner? I really want to make a g I wanted. I want to play a game of bike. I want to do a game of bike with someone. I asked Teku to do it. I'd like to do it with him. Just because he plays the game so differently than I do. I think that would be pretty interesting. I'm running the experimental version as well. Just had an update today, and when I launched after updating, the game is stuck on a flying Rickenny. What the heck? That's weird. Can you do anything in your game? Looks like a suspension fork from behind. What? This fork? 
Oh my god. Tell Deku to stop laughing? No. It's nothing like that. The main problem is that I'm in Canada and he's in Japan, so like the time difference is just wildly different. That's that's the reason we haven't done it yet. So I mean, I was like I'd like to do it with him, but might might be a while. Something rad club? Yeah, it'd be cool to ride around with Marcus. I'm sure, we'll, I'm sure we'll do something, but again, like he's got a he's about to have a baby. I have a baby. It's hard to line line times up. Oof. I'm sure we'll figure something out. Happened to you too? Change to beta? Yeah, I guess just change to to beta. Does beta have all the same stuff in it as experimental? What's different about beta and experimental? Being a parent is hard? Uh, Yeah, I mean, I'm only six months in. Definitely... It has its challenges, but it's super awesome too. I would say like the hardest thing is just like like the whole time thing, like making plans and shit. You play multiplayer on mod maps, yeah. As long as they have the, as long as they have the uh, the mod maps. Tubeless a common thing on BMX bikes? No. Maybe, uh, maybe on race bikes, but I don't, I don't even think it is on race bikes. Tubeless is more or less like a mountain bike thing. I guess there's probably tubeless road bike stuff too. But yeah, I think tubeless BMX, like it exists. Like you can. You can make your BMX tubeless if you wanted to, but I don't really know the benefits of it. And is it is tubeless is tubeless rated for high pressure? I feel like tubeless is like mainly a mountain bike thing, just due to like how low of a, a PSI they normally ride. Oh. oh, of course I didn't put a mark up there. That's... I like that spot, too. Come on, Angie. Get your manuals up. Come on. I'm going to set my mark over here and just ride down this way. Is there a toggle for camera light? Yeah, it only works when it's actually dark out. Sorry, I don't know why I'm doing that. Once you got it nighttime, you just uh, press right on the D-pad. You gotta be out of this menu though. My handlebars also have a light on them. I think a lot of my bikes have. Oh, these ones are okay, cool. The light's kind of weird though, because it's like so far set back from the the camera that it, when something cuts in front of the camera, like the light is like super delayed. But it's pretty cool. You can get some really nice, get some really nice looking areas at night. God, Angie, come on. Yeah, like right there, she's like... Like the camera's in front of the ledge. 
but the like wherever the light source is like not on the camera so it's like behind the camera like quite a bit too because we don't get it till right there yeah the light is like quite a bit i think the light is like in the ground right now because from right here we can't see anything oh i guess we could actually test it out right here far away if we yeah so yeah camera cam or the light could be a little bit better for it to come out on PlayStation? Yeah. It's gonna be probably a while. I think he's... I think MASH Games has had a lot more work to do on the game than maybe they originally thought. But it's nice to see that they're actually doing it. could technically play anybody I, I like I just want to play against Teku insane challenge I wish I could remember the youtuber that did it but I saw a short on YouTube and this guy he almost grinded every single one of these he just kind of gapped the last one kind of interested to see if it's oh I don't like that glare right there there we go Man, everything's very bloomy in this game. It's an insane bloom. Look at my stem right now. It's so distracting. Yeah, this seems impossible. Deku on right now? No, I don't think so. And I didn't mean like, hey, I want to play a game of bike right now. I just meant like, in general. It'd be cool to make like a game of bike video. I don't know. I have no clue how he did this. He got to... <laughs> I can't even make it to the second rail half the time. Maybe we just do a switch. I don't know. Maybe I try mini hops or quick hops. More Riders Republic videos. I, I the next time I'd have no clue when the next time I'll ever play Riders Republic is. I think the only games you're gonna see on the channel for a while are BMX Streets and Shredders. And speaking, like I, I'm gonna do a Shredders video soon. May Fourth is their 540 Indie Invitational. See, that's exactly what he did in his uh, short. And it's hard to, like, I don't know how I'm supposed to get to that last rail. Nothing about that looks good, by the way. <laughs> I'm very aware of that. <laughs> it's just kind of like a tricky thing. Uh, could make series out of it, playing other creators and bug, yeah. I, I would play. I, you don't have to be a creator in general. Heck, who's just like, I just, I just think it would be fun because he just plays so different. And it'd be cool to like uh, have him. Maybe even I don't know. Game of bike would be cool, but it would also be cool to do like calling the shots. That's what I wanted to do with Devin yesterday, but I totally forgot. I totally forgot to ask him. I 
do you drift? You just, uh, if you look at my controller overlay, you just hold the right trigger and then you put both sticks either to the left or the right. And once you kind of initiate it, you can kind of like get like really soft drifts or like really hard aggressive drifts. Yeah, I see how both sticks are just kind of in sync going left to right. Can you actually like do some weird stuff with the uh yeah, like because you can kind of lean forward with the right stick too in it but like take the weight off the back wheel a bit i don't know it's i'm not even that good with those okay so i think i'm gonna hop on this one and then mini hop the rest I might have to come back to this. I don't know if I really want to sit here for an hour trying to just do the most ridiculous rail gap, rail gap, rail. Probably one of my favorite rails in the game. Me and Devin had a crazy session learning a bunch of stuff when we got our hands on it. The overcranks. Can we crank on this rail? Does this work? Oh yeah, so you can't really do long crank arms in that. And if I was going faster, maybe? Yeah, you start to like fall out of it. The quick ones you can do pretty good. They look pretty good. Have you drift off a takeoff yet? The spins are so fast. I don't think I have, honestly. I never thought to drift off a takeoff. Am I messing around with foot jams yet? A little bit. I'm not I'm not much of a foot jammer, so. I haven't played around with it too, too much, but a little bit for sure. Oh, shoot. Wrong input. Oh, over. Oh, one sec. Down. Could you do a quick rundown of how replays work? Sure. We'll try to get a clip and then do it. How do you nose many stairs? You just nose many and ride. You just ride straight or down. But you can see, guys, you can see my controller in the bottom left, right? Is it up there for you guys? You just do a nose manual and you just ride up. All right, let's just do something to get a... What can we do? this maybe maybe not <laughs> let's do something maybe a little bit better than that yeah even that was kind of <sighs> All right. we'll get the okay I got one I got one I don't know how good Angie is at her 180 fakey ices. Well, she's going for the over ice, I guess. I don't know what's going on there. Dude, everything. <laughs> I'm trying kind of a difficult one, but. Oh my, okay. Let me just do something basic, I guess. Something even more basic. Sure. Yeah, G turns are a lot easier if you 
I mean, everything's easier in slow motion, obviously, but like, I find they they react a little bit different in slow motion. Some things actually just work way differently in slow motion. It's not even like a. If you wonder why I use it so much, it's just some things are literally not possible without it, at least for the time being. Especially with how much faster. So yeah, when you open the replay, you just have like an instant replay. It's down on the D-pad to hide this stuff. This is basically just the straight up gameplay view. And then for the time being... Or, yeah. So then it's square for me because I'm using a PlayStation 5 controller. This is where you can edit the clip, and that'll put you immediately into a free cam mode. If you press start, you get some additional settings. Uh, like, you can change the FOV. You can't keyframe this stuff yet. I think at some point we'll be able to. I really hope so. Um, and yeah, you've got time of day. You can change the time of day in the replay if you really wanted to. Change your filter. Um, filter strength. Tune. Uh, this is a weird setting that I don't really know why it exists, but it does. Filmic, same with this one. Don't really know what it's doing here, besides making the image extremely dark. Depth of field, you can play around with that if you really wanted to. This really only works if you're not using like a really wide fish angle. But even this is like, it's not keyframeable, right? So like, if Angie gets away from the camera too much, she'll go out of focus. As long as like you're with the rider, just stay in focus here. Yeah, we, we need the the quick hop set of manuals should be a little bit smaller, I think. Like look at this. Oh, yeah, these almost look so good, but just that hop out of it. Sometimes if you do it off a ledge and you don't hop, you'll kind of get the rotation. Um, so yeah, that's how you use the replay. If you want to do fisheye, I can show you what I use for fisheye. I just do fisheye strength to 100%. And then I put the FOV up to, I think like 126, 128, somewhere around there. And then we'll do <laughs> what is happening there. And then it's just a wide set of keyframe. So I'm going to close out of this. And I'm just going to ride along here. Add a couple keyframes. Get one like as they hop. And as they land, and then I'll we'll just go down here. Here, something like this. the lefty pad and then we'll play through it and like in some spots I might just adjust it a bit at a keyframe like right here I'm gonna need another one so for this I might actually go up a bit point it up obviously a problem so come back a bit yeah and that's it all we do And then if you want to put like slow motion or anything in it, 
He did add a toggle to get rid of the slow motion effects, but it only affects the gameplay and not the replay. I wish it was the opposite. <laughs> we should just turned off for both, but. It's like the only way to make that look a little less drastic is if you slow motion right before it and speed it up. Yeah. Yeah, that's all there is to it. How do you toothpick hangover? Yeah, you just gotta do a toothpick, which is just like a nose manual. You see my left stick here. Let me go into a stall actually. Oh God. My left, st sliding a lot here. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, so go, it's like a nose manual, but on a ledge, and then your left stick will just swing the back wheel around. I've seen a, I've seen a couple people complain about it being kind of like opposite, right? Like if I want to swing my tire over to the right, I'm steering to the left. But that's just because you're actually like setting up to spin to the left when you do that. Right? Like you're setting up to sp keep spinning that way. It makes sense in my head, but it would be interesting to see maybe a way to change that for some people. Angie with the steez just over hang. <laughs> yeah. That might have been the cleanest balanced overhang I've done. That was pretty solid. The, the, the exit was not that great. That might have been the nicest overhang I've done besides the the exit. But yeah. A lot of this stuff is really just going to take a lot of practice, honestly. And you can kind of see on my stick, like, I'm kind of, like, constantly, like, fighting it. Same, same with, like, nose manuals. Kind of, like, constantly trying to keep it in that position. No wonder I was finding this hard. Yeah, so triggers lean. Yeah, so you're not wrong. Like, triggers lean. But for the toothpicks to, like, balance your back wheel, it's actually with the left stick. Yeah, you're, you are right, though. Like, when your triggers do lean in a grind. But triggers are also, like, your side hop, so... If couldn't really do it the back wheel like that I mean you can a little bit it's really hard to use the triggers to to balance you can balance it with the triggers it just doesn't really look right because in real life you're not wobbling back and forth like that you're kind of just in like nice solid position you, you, you don't actually have to hop out of hangovers either it actually does a pretty nice exit if you just drop it. Oh, the over... The snaggle? Okay. <laughs> That's a long-ass snaggle. Keep getting sucked to this little tiny thing. Yeah, you can do it without a hop, too, which is kind of nice. Let's just get out of it regular. How do you balance crank arms? And crank arms are just janky. That grind is just not good. You shouldn't have to balance a crank arm either. They they just they don't. And that that's news to me. If you have to actually balance a crank arm, I mean, if you lean into it a bit more, like. It definitely locks in a bit better. There's a couple grinds that are like that, honestly. My hero. To... Yeah. 
I've seen a lot of people. I've seen a couple people. Like I'll, I'll go into Twitch streams and stuff like that sometimes. YouTube streams. See what people are doing. If there's any advice I could give to them. But uh, a lot of the problems I see with people doing like these kind of grinds. They'll have controller overlays up and they're like, I'm doing it. I don't understand. It's broken. It's not working. And I'll see the stick and instead of like for a crook, it's to the right and all the way down. They'll do like this much. They do it like halfway. And yeah, you really got to do the full rotation. You can even spin it past all the way down. Uh, but yeah, you can't do under that. You do like right all the way down. And you also like, you might notice too when I'm doing a grind like that, I hop, I let go of the stick and then I do the input. I don't like hop, then roll the stick to the side and then roll it down. You can't do that. Cause rolling it up into the side is, is a, is a lucky. But like if I'm trying to go for a crook, I can't be doing this. Cause the first, the first thing I did was a, a lucky input trying to get to the crook input. You have to like hop and then from the center go to the side. Yeah. I, I want to make like a how to everything tutorial in this game. Because there's like a lot of stuff that the game doesn't really do a great job at explaining. Am I in a multiplayer session? Did I join one? Oh, I didn't. Create a session. Open. There's that code there. If, I don't know how quick you guys can type that in. Can you do crank to pegs to hard three? Yeah, definitely. I'll see if I can do it on this big curve rail. That'd be kind of sick. Can be really hard to get from crank to pegs because like i was saying the crank arms are just janky <laughs> maybe i can't do it on the spot <laughs> yeah see like oh man that there a different rail we could do whoa that's a sick after rail yeah, I don't know. Maybe I go back to that other rail quickly for that. Because crank arms are working on this. Yeah, crank arms need work for sure. Crank arms, levitators are kind of, they're not, they're not bad. Levitators work pretty good. just depends on what you're doing it on like some some like curved rails or ledges you can't really levitate it on all that great <laughs> yeah i can't even get into a crank arm anymore crank arm over pegs would be sick yeah i'm like a little angled in the crank arm so I guess I'm gonna have to spin a bit <laughs> yeah crank arms are just they're possible they're just there you go can't join well it's open so I mean you could just spam join session until you get into to my lobby Ultimate guide is needed. Yeah, we'll get we'll get something like that out. I just feel like every time I play, there's still a couple things that I'm like figuring out or learning that would would be handy in something like that. So I've just been kind of waiting until things settle down, and it's also kind of hard too, right? Because I don't really want to make an ultimate guide, and then the next day later. Mash changes how something works in the game or adds a setting that would be helpful to know about in the tutorial or something like that. Like, 
I made a pumping and perfect tweak tutorial, and then a day later, he changed the way pumping works. Like, the tutorial still works good. Because you really just need to know how to use the left stick and the timing of the left stick. But it was just kind of like, oh man. Made a tutorial and he changed... He changed something about it the next day that would have been helpful to know in the tutorial. I mean, I'll redo pumping and perfect tweaks when I make an ultimate guide, but... Yeah, I don't know. I still feel like I'm still figuring some things out. But I could definitely do like a basic guide and then like an advanced guide, maybe? I don't know. Any tips for wall rides since the update seem to always try to put me vertical? Yeah, that's because you have the spin assist off. If you play with spin assist off, then yeah, it'll just put you into a vertical wall ride every time. That's just something he's going to have to fix. Like, I, I basically change those settings depending on what I'm doing and riding. Right, like, if I wanted to do, like, a more vertical wall ride right now, like, I would just, I would just turn this off. But, I mean, stuff like this is still possible. You just have to spin a bit into it. Get the timing. Or, like, I can still hop in, into this. You just have to spin a bit. It is kind of annoying, though, that I'm not just already going on the, the angle that I'm already at. Because if I do nothing with the left stick, then it, it just does this, right? Whoa. Mr... Or Mrs. Mr. Riviera, dude, twenty dollars. Yo, long time listener, first time commentator. When watching, been watching you since your BMX pump series. You're the reason I bought pipe. You have brought countless laughs and relaxation to me. Keep doing what you're doing. Wait, you can like a, oh, you can like a super chat. That's sick, dude. Thanks for the, the donation. That's crazy that you've been watching for that long and this is the first time you've commented. Or do you mean like first time you've donated? That's insane. That's crazy. You watched this long and this is the first time you said something and it was a donation, you know, that's sick. Cause yeah, it's just me being ass. I mean, not really, right? Like it doesn't make sense a lot of the time. Like it's now it's like spinning me in the opposite direction. Like you just have to fight it a bit, but yeah, hopefully he figures that out. Cause I should just like launch straight at the wall like that. I shouldn't have to, I shouldn't have to spin to, to get there. Yo, what up, Josh? When I hop into the game and experimental, I only see a rider walking? Yeah, I don't know. I think maybe depending on your computer, like, your experience may vary. I don't know. I play an experimental, and the people I play with play in it, but... I don't know. Try backflip off the wall. Which which one? The curve wall? Backflip side of the wall rides look kind of weird. Like I said, that was a backflip. There we go. Backflip 360 for the Kyle challenge. <laughs> you want to see a down whip wall ride bar out? Oh my god, we got caught up on that little ledge there. Oh, that is not something you can ride into. <laughs> Oh, I need a bit more of a gap to that. Oh my god, these little ledges are in like the worst possible spot. Yeah, there's like a weird auto spin now out of wall rides. Huh. 
Update broke game. What build are you on? Try switching your build. Is there an update that came out right now? Because I updated my game before I went live. That's cool that you can uh, like a super chat now. That's dope. Could one your next videos, could you show all the locations on map that doesn't cost stars? Yeah. Yeah, like uh, like I was saying, I'll make a ultimate guide video, like all the skate parks, all the unlockable places, which is it's literally just two spots. I'll show you a fun one right now. Come here. I hope you add stuff to the map. It feels a little empty. Yeah, maybe. I think I'm, I'm like, I'm sure this stuff maybe he'll get around to. I think he's got a lot of tweaking and stuff to do with the game itself. He's been doing that, which has been great. And then I'm sure once the game is operating a lot more solid, then I'm sure we'll see some stuff added like in the future. Wait, did I turn spin assist off? I did, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. Just making sure. <laughs> it's going to be a lot harder to ride this place without that on. Oh, no. What? Yo, gutted lack? With this... Two pounds? Watching for years. Thanks for all the content. Yo, what the hell? Thanks for sticking around all these years. God, it's so hard. It's so hard to, uh, there's so much more difficult. Like I've just been playing for so long with the spin assist and I'll get used, used to it without it. And the way spinning works needs to be a little bit better, right? Like, it's it's, it's weird how you can, like, stop a spin and just start it right back up. Like, it doesn't work in the opposite direction like that, which is good. But I feel like you, you even just stop so quick. However it was in pipe is, like, he nailed it in pipe. There's a, there's a couple things he really nailed, or that they really nailed in pipe. They're just different in this game, where they don't they don't necessarily need to be. Like I like the new grinds, tweaked tricks is sick. I like now that we can have the same um, like the like turning the transition spin assist off. I really think that's a nice update. But the spinning and pipe just felt way smoother. Like, it felt like there's a little bit more weight to the character in Pipe. Oh, God. I had both bumpers on, dude. Come on. How do you use grind spin assist off? Yeah. I, uh, here are my settings real quick, actually. Grind spin assist off. Transition spin assist off. Transition assist on. I pretty much keep transition assist on unless I'm, like, exclusively riding, like, in the streets. But I usually keep it on because when I come to a park like this, I don't really want to have to go into the settings every single time. I think in the future, hopefully we see, uh, like, I... I would love to see either a transition assist, like right now, let's see how it's just on or off. I, I would kind of like like a high, low, and off. Like high being what it is now, because the transition assist right now is like ridiculously strong. I would kind of like a lower version, like either just tone down how it is, or just like have like a a lower option. And then just have off. 
And then I think they should also have a grind magnet setting that operates the same way. Like grind magnets on and then have like a low and off. I think that'd be sick. <laughs> you have a video of you guys freaking out over you saying your name when you said that's funny. Yeah, I appreciate it. I mean, that's kind of it's kind of funny actually. All the familiar names I've seen now that this game has come out. We've just all been waiting for it for so long. And it's finally here. It's good to see that it's getting tweaked for how players really want. There's a little section over here too. Not much going on over here. Okay. <laughs> is there a location you unlock when you get 100 stars? Yes, Randy. There is. Once you get 100 stars, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to this red block. See, this is the park in the middle. But this this red block is where you want to go. That's where the skate park is. You're just going to hop on your bike. You're going to come up here, grab your bike, jump off, get on your bike at the last second. And then you're going to go in between these two buildings here, which is a... There's actually some pretty cool spots over here that I really enjoy. We might go to the... We might actually session outside of the, the park. We'll come in here for a minute or two, though. Yeah, you're going to come over to this door. Once you got 100 stars, it'll say enter. And then you're just going to want to walk over here and unlock the fast travel. That way, when you go into your map, you can just fast travel in here. Did you know you have a spot in the game? Oh yeah, the old potatoes challenge, yeah. Yeah, Mash asked if I wanted a challenge in the game and I said, sure. I said, just make it technical. <laughs> and it is fairly technical. It is kind of easy though. I kind of wish my challenge was a bit harder. Yeah, it's the indoor part. Yeah, we can actually go do my challenge. Go to progress, challenges. By the way, guys, we've gotten 100% of everything except for the boxes done. So, I mean, if there's any specific thing in game, like a challenge that you want to see me do or you're struggling with and you'd like to see how I do it, then let me know. I will, pr it, like, I'll do it almost every time ex unless it's a race or a drift event. Then I might need some heavy convincing. Um, it's a spot, right? Old potatoes? Yeah. This is actually... This challenge actually really demonstrates how cool the, the missions are in this game, right? So it says we need to do 360 feeble and a bar spin left, right? So, like, you might think... Alright, it wants me to do a 360 land and a feeble and then a bar spin left and right. It didn't count the feeble, I guess. Okay, 360 Smith. This is the other thing I was talking about. Like, it's not even really possible to 360 to feeble unless you go right off the end and you feeble for like a second. But like, if I use the slow motion, we can like get into the feeble way up here. So you could do that to do it. The one I really like doing is, uh, I like doing 180 bar switch feeble and then doing like a fakey truck out. It's definitely a lot more difficult, but it looks sick. Not too good at my opposite 180 grinds. 
Yeah, I'm really not good at them. It feels so unnatural for me to do that. Like, I could 180 feeble probably first try on something normal almost. But th th spinning this way feels so awkward. There it is. Yeah. There it is. Yeah, so the missions are pretty open. Like, as long as you do the tricks at once, like, you could even add tricks in there if you really wanted to. What's another one we could do? Oh, you could just do like bar feeble switch track. You could do switch bar feeble hard track. So many ways to do the the challenges this game, which is pretty cool. So if you're struggling on that mission, definitely just do like. Uh, bar spin feeble easy truck. Let's do that. That's like the easiest way you could complete that. Someone needs to mod in Slim. Yeah, I've seen so many people ask for a Slim Jim mod. <laughs> I'm sure the modded character, like, people should definitely mod out. Uh, like, this should be the custom character. I'm sure people make replace finger, probably mash. That, yeah. Because, uh, I don't know, this is kind of like a neat character, but I feel like nobody's going to use this. It does look kind of funny for some stuff. I feel like your camera settings, you have to play with the camera pretty close to the router, or else you just see, like, the floating in. I don't know, this is kind of weird. Definitely feels like I'm riding a finger bike though, which is pretty cool. He teased the hand character. Oh, really? See, this was the, when I saw it in game, I was like, this is, I, yeah, the first time I've ever seen him post something like this. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think too many people will use it. It's definitely kind of fun for like a minute or two, but ain't no one main and finger. I wish I could press B to get out of the menu too. Like you have to press pause. If you press B, nothing happens. Even though it says back. Press pause exit. And now my cave's broken. Okay. I don't really play with Dan too much. Jesus. Dan looks... Is Dan short? I feel like he looks short in this game. He looks... He looks kind of short. He's the same height as Dakota, but Dakota doesn't look... Dakota's... I'm looking a little off with Dan. Oh. Uh, that's so cursed. Can you do a Smith Ice Pick 180 bar on a rail? Smith Ice Pick bar 180 on a rail? Wait, Smith Ice Pick? Oh, okay. I get what you're saying. I think all these rails are going to be a little bit too short. Dude, on these, that definitely sounds like a flat rail trick. Or at least a mellow down rail. I don't know if anyone's doing that kind of combination. Oh. 
Maybe without the bar. Jeez, I don't know if that's going to happen on this rail. Oh, and I'm going to land over Crook every time. Yeah, I don't know. We could find a flat rail, maybe. Oh, you know what would actually be sick is if we did it on this. We did like a Smith ice and then like hard, hard 180 bar over. You're rocking the bars. And nice, dude. The potato bars. The spud bars. We got that OG Squirtle Pokemon reference in there. We got the spud forks. They're, they just have a maple leaf on them, though. And we got the spud petals. It's like the old YouTube logo. Or sorry, like the first. Wait, is it different on this one? Wait, why is this one vertical? <laughs> okay. I guess the cap's messed up on that other one. There's also a potato sea post, which again is just a sea post with the maple leaf. And then there's a frame too, but the... The stickers on the frame look kind of like they don't look high res at all. Pretty cool though. We could change. We could actually make this frame the potato frame. There, right, now we got a full potato build. Just about. Yeah, like the texture of the stickers are like really low it's also missing <laughs> it's missing some top tube and down tube stickers all right i might try to crank flip into this Oof. Oh my god. Whoa. Wonder if this helps with Smiths. Nope. Smiths on rails are so hard. See, just the wheel slips off every time. I feel like I didn't ice pick there. No. <laughs> I find it hard to smith quick hop and get my finger to like maybe that was better oh see like my tire was slipping out as you know I'd be happy if I could just smith oh like that oh okay that looks a lot better that actually looked pretty natural Without the hop there. That one I kind of just naturally... Yeah, that looks sick. So that one is... I just held the smith for a second. Okay. It's really hard to get my thumb. <laughs> my thumb is not that quick. Cool that you can make them look like that, though. Just 
Do items get no? So some frames and handlebars and forks, like they have different geometries, but they don't actually make a difference with the game. I think initially he wanted it to, but just couldn't figure it out in time. Dude, how did I get that so good? Can't find a video anywhere explaining different grinds. Yeah, we were going it over it earlier, but uh, I'll I'll make a video for. Gr I'm gonna make an ultimate guide video. Or do I just make a grind tutorial video? Maybe I just do a grind tutorial? Because if I go over everything, if I go over everything in the game in one video, holy smokes. That's gonna be one long ass video. You don't understand them at all? Yeah, they're definitely tricky, especially if you come from pipe. Because I feel like naturally you want to try and do them how they worked in pipe and they just don't work like that. Any idea why MASH took down the mobile BMX streets? Um, I did know this at one point in time. I can't remember what it was. I don't even think it was like that he took it down. I think it was more or less like something became outdated and he needed to update it and he didn't have a way to update it or something like that. I can't remember. What about 180 ice fakey truck? Oh shit. Actually, this little outledge over here would be perfect for that. Is it possible to smith grind, then spin the back end whilst doing it? What do you mean spin the back end whilst doing a smith? How would you be spinning in a smith? Yeah, that makes that a lot easier. Yeah, you're definitely doing a hard truck out of a fakey ice. So hard with the grind of spin assist off. Oh my god, that's so much easier. <laughs> foot in the front. Damn it. Oh, you like that game? Yeah, it was sick. Oh, that doesn't really know what to do there. I've just been playing with the grind spin assist stuff. I feel like it's just better for me now. I thought this game would be a little better in general. The physics of the game seem to be stiff or arcade-like. I've seen that comment a lot. I, I, I have absolutely no idea how you could possibly play this game and think it's like arcade-like, especially if you play pipe. Like I get the auto spin, but luckily now we can turn that off. Even the transition is fist. The spinning, I guess, maybe. I feel like just with how like how like you can stop and start spinning again, but like the whole game overall feels nothing close to arcade, at least to me. Um, I think they mean when they slide the back wheel around. In a smith? Oh, like, do this in a smith? Is that what you're talking about?
playlist on tutorials. Yeah, I guess we could do that. Feels like Piper better. A little floaty in the park, but street feels realistic. Yeah. And I, I think a big part of that is the, the, the landing or the transition assist is like, it's really strong. I guess the only way, the, I guess when people say it's arcadey and I just have no idea. When I played pipe, a lot of it was doing this like street riding and stuff. And it felt arcadey and pipe was just cause it was all animation based. So when I come to this game and I'm riding street, it feels like a simulator just about with the settings we have. But in pipe, the transition riding felt a lot more closer to a sim than this game. So like, I guess, yeah, like I understand why some people could say that. It's just, it just depends on their riding. But for me, someone that likes and almost exclusively just does like mainly street riding in the game, there's n nothing that makes it feel more arcadey than the previous game anyways. Do a sprocket grind. <laughs> sprocket grind. <laughs> That's about as close as I can get. <laughs> can I try backflip bar spin bar spin? Do a handlebar grind. Wonder if you need this rocket with a guard on it? No, you don't need it. I wish the spinning there was there was a got to ten degree let me center. I don't know what you mean, Rob. Also Rob, I got a little shoot on Monday, but if it's nice and the shoot goes by quick, I'll probably be riding. Uh, can you show us what grinding tagless looks like? I don't feel from that. No, it does. It, the the game still thinks you have uh, pegs on. So nothing looks nothing looks any different. Right, like you're still gonna be grinding where the pegs are. Can you do helicopters or are they gone as well? Yeah, there's a lot of missing tricks from pipe, unfortunately. The good thing about tricks is those are all things that can be added. Even when pipe came out, it didn't have all the tricks. I mean, geez, when pipe came out, it was nothing like what pipe eventually got to. And the pipe only got updated for like maybe half a year if that I don't even know if it got updated that long so I'm sure we'll see a lot of that stuff added in the next couple months oh I was like is that a box I haven't got but I've gotten it slide into a half cab does it look steezy slide into a half cab do you mean something like this going on bleak I wish they added hang five back yeah I mean again that is something I've asked him a lot for that's one of my favorite tricks in real life and I like to doing it in pipe I'm sure we'll see it oh and I did ask him I asked just to let you guys know I asked him about adding accepts and he said that he's gonna he's gonna work on adding accepts into the game and then I asked if we would be able to grind and ride in it. And he said that would be the only way he would add it. <laughs> so I was like, okay, sick. So hopefully we'll see XFs back in the game soon. And it sounds like they're going to be exactly how they were in pipe. So you could actually ride in them, grind in them. Really miss your bus drivers? Same, dude. I never did the bar spin in pipe. I only did bus drivers. Miss X pegs, yeah, we'll get that back. 
Yeah, give me bus drivers back and get rid of this. What is this one too? Oh, that's switch T bug. Yeah, get rid of this trick. Give me a bus driver. You get the trick. You just get. You just need a hundred stars, and then once you have a hundred stars, when you open your quick menu with the left on the D-pad, you can just spawn it in like that. Mine is broken at the moment, so. Can't get into it. <laughs> X hang fives? I never did that in <laughs> X Aaron pipe. There's a oh I forgot I got this no clip wheels on. What is What is happening? Oh, and I'm floating on the air. <laughs> it's funny because Mash keeps adding and fixing a lot of things, but in the process, while he's doing that, so many things are breaking. I feel bad. He's trying his best for us. He broke the game. No, the game, the game has been broken ever since I started playing it because I did something really dumb. But the trike gets buggy. Oh, yeah. Anyways, that trike is just on another level. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the stream. Thanks for hanging out. I got to hop off here and grab something to eat. We'll hopefully have a... I mean, it's the weekend. I think it's raining all weekend. I'll probably, probably try to get some videos done. But, yeah. I'm out of here, boys. Sorry. <laughs> Go find someone else to watch. I know Milky was streaming it earlier. Maybe f see if he's still streaming it, learning it. You guys can give him some tips. If he has any questions, definitely don't just go in there throwing tips out. Nobody likes an uncalled for tip, if you know what I'm saying. Anyways, we're out of here. Enjoy the rest of your night. Enjoy your weekend, boys. Spencer, dude, you're always coming in at the last seconds because you wake up at... Spencer, Spencer just, just woke up for you, for those of you wondering. He was an out ride with Jay. I know it's not true. He just got up. Spencer, Spencer, get the stream on, dude. You've been up so long. Oh, he hasn't gone to bed yet. <laughs> you had a whole day. Uh, but yeah, you can find Spencer on Twitch at Apocalypse. He's been streaming this game a lot. Oh, Milky's not streaming no more. Do we, we? I mean, we could find someone that's streaming the game. Maybe. I feel kind of bad sending a bunch of people to someone's way, especially with how toxic the chat was earlier. But I mean, it seems to be pretty good now. Uh, dude, there's like four people streaming on Twitch. I'll just, I'm, I'm just going to link the category for BMX streets on Twitch and then, uh, Milky would have been streaming for like nine hours then. No, I, I only started streaming like an hour after Milky. But yeah. There's, there's the di directory for BMX streets on Twitch. You guys can disperse through there. Spencer says he can fire it up for the boys. So yeah, refresh that page a couple of times and you'll see Spencer. You can't play with Spencer. He's too loud when I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> Dude, anytime I play with Spencer, especially Fortnite, and I get up to like get a drink or something, I'm like in the kitchen on the other side of my house and I can hear Spencer yelling through the fucking mic. Spencer about to do a chill 12 hour stream. I believe it, dude. Spencer hot tub stream when yeah here let me I'll link you guys to Spencer's twitch you guys can go wait for him there he does some pretty crazy stuff I'll leave Sp I'll, I'll leave Spencer's twitch here it's always a good time anyways guys honestly loudest person I've ever played the game yeah 
Yeah, my room is right beside the office, so you can definitely hear my... Like, I can hear it in the kitchen on the other side of the house. <laughs> Anyways, guys, enjoy your weekend. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Peace out.